Spotify told you Bad Repio who was dying in his bed. At the same time made the journey through by location. This fantastic story is witnessed by Padre Domenico, who was also a stigmatized friar capable of bilocation. Padre Domenico was the first person caught on camera during bilocation. But where did Padre Pio bilocate it, just before he passed away? Wait, what is bilocation? Bilocation is the ability to be in two different places at the same time. Even though it for most people is unimaginable, some sense, and even the Virgin Mary were able to bilocate. It was well known that Padre Pio had many spiritual gifts and bilocation was one of them. When Padre Pio was 81 years old, he celebrated the 50th anniversary of receiving the stigmata. It was three days before he passed away. Padre Pio knew his end was approaching, and he was so weak that he couldn't even get out of bed after celebrating the mass. On September 22nd, which was a Sunday, Padre Pio collected all of his strength and was able to celebrate his last mass. At the end of the ceremony, he almost collapsed. So, Padre Pio is now lying in his bed and dying in San Giovanni Rotondo, which is about 200 km far away from Manopello. A friend of his, Padre Domenico de Sessa, who is also a stigmatized friar and lived in Manopello, just opened the doors of the shrine and he found their Padre Pio. He was looking at the veil of Manopello when he turned to his friend and said, I do not trust myself anymore. Pray for me. Goodbye. Until we meet again in paradise. Padre Pio died 20 hours later in his cell in San Giovanni Rotondo. But why did Padre Pio choose to go to Manopello just before he passed away? Because in this Italian village, there is a well with the holy face on it. The veil is the famous veil of Veronica, which shows the face of Christ after being used to wipe Jesus' face on his way to Calvary. For many years, people believed that this veil was the sudarium that covered the face of Jesus after he was crucified. But it turned out that the sudarium is in Oviedo, and more and more scholars are concluding that the veil of Manopello is actually the veil of Veronica. But wait a minute, the veil of Veronica should be in the Vatican. But it turned out that the veil of Veronica had been lost in 1527. The Vatican did not know where can it be, and these scholars from the Vatican found out that the veil of Veronica should be in Manopello. After Pope Benedict XVI read these findings, decided to go to Manopello. When the Pope was in Manopello, he said, we all look for the face of Jesus. The face on the veil of Manopello is the face of Jesus Christ that is imprinted on a thin piece of cloth. The veil is made of marine bisous on which it's impossible to paint. The image is said to be superimposed on the face of the Holy Shroud. Saint Padre Pio called the Volta Santo the greatest miracle we have. So Padre Pio's first step towards the valley of death was by locating to Manopello. He knew he was dying and desired to see God's face during this trial. Padre Pio said farewell to his friend Padre Domenico in front of the holy face. Earlier, Padre Pio always had difficulty understanding why several pilgrims from Manopello made the trip to see him, when they already had Padre Domenico as their saint. Father Domenico was a spiritual son of Saint Padre Pio. He was a mystic and stigmatist just like Padre Pio. Padre Domenico had extraordinary gifts of the Holy Spirit, such as the gift of reading source and by location. He was only nine years old when he predicted the devastating Avanzano earthquake in Italy. The following day, a 6.7 magnitude earthquake hit the Avanzano region of Italy, killing more than 30,000 people, including two of his sisters. He and his father were buried in the rubble of that church. A man he didn't know pulled him and his father from the rubble to safety, whose face he later recognized when he saw the veil with the holy face for the first time in Monopoly. Father Domenico was as if he had been struck by lightning. After that recognition, Padre Domenico spent the rest of his life in Monopello. Padre Domenico was the first person ever caught on camera during bilocation. Witnesses and even signed testimonies described that Padre Domenico was in the shrine in Monopello and spent the whole day meeting many visitors on the day of Padre Pio's funeral. As I said before, Monopello is 200 km from San Giovanni Rotondo where Padre Pio's funeral but look at this video from Padre Pio's funeral. Look at this. Who is that guy there? 
There is video evidence and witness testimony that Padre Domenico was seen at Padre Pio's funeral. Dear brothers and sisters, if you want to learn more about Veronica's will disappearing from the Vatican, watch this video next and please support the channel by subscribing. God bless you.